Hello, I'm Eddie Irvin with GrainHappy.com. Today we're going to talk about VS Code presets in Lightroom. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of uh, everything you can expect when you, you know before you buy this pack. I have uh, VS Code Film One. They have a lot of different ones. I think I think five or six different ones, and they're all good in their own ways. We we tended to like number one, so we bought it. And uh, so here's here's kind of the starting place. Let's get right into it. So over here, uh, look up here so you can kind of see what the different film stocks are looking like. If you just roll over here, I, the main thing I love here is to just see how Viesco puts different color tones together. Um, some of these presets will destroy the image, and some will, you know, make you think in totally new ways of what the image could be just by seeing how they uh, mess with the highlights and the shadows. This is an image uh, I took when we were in New York City. Um, purposefully blurred it, just FYI. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't take that on accident. I was trying to go for that. So either you like it or you hate it. All right. So rolling over here, uh, HC. I think that's high. Con I'm pretty, pretty sure that's high contrast. And you'll notice that um, these presets, you know, they have the same name, but then there's a few variations of them. I like that a lot because you can really, you know, you can really kind of hone in on exactly what you want, exactly where you want to start. Now you're not done. This isn't it. You know, it's not a one, it's not a one-click solution here. Not, you know, not by far. But let's uh, let's start here and move down. So let's do uh, Fuji 160C, and then we will head down to the um, the toolkit down here. You can obviously do auto, blah blah blah. I would never do auto anything, just as a general rule across the board. <laughs> Use your eye and make your own decisions. All right, so contrast, um, just change. Now this is the same thing as coming over here. Um, so if I click contrast plus plus, it it changes the contrast. Although what you'll notice is that there is no difference in the contrast slider here. So it's making that difference somewhere else. I wonder where it's making that. Maybe in tone curve. Where is it making that change? Some stuff that's with Viesco is very interesting because they um, they designed this software so that there's stuff going on in the background that you can't see, which is good and bad. Um, what you'll notice down here, come down to cal camera calibration, is you've got all these different profiles. Um, that are added now and this is stuff that's external from Lightroom I, I can't you know I can't change this within Lightroom so it's really cool because they give you all these different you know quote unquote film stocks and it's fun because uh, it adds a whole nother layer to Lightroom it's, this isn't Viesco isn't just you know they didn't just go through here and choose you know oh we'll turn up the exposure turn up the contrast turn down the blacks and then try to sell you that they they're not just moving sliders and trying to sell you that they actually add awesome value to Lightroom because they're creating these profiles that are based on film stocks that just look sweet um, in their own way okay so we're gonna let's this looks crazy so re reset Viesco film back up to the top let's do uh, Kodak Portra 160 this time and then we'll come back down here um, so you can mess with contrast highlight save uh, highlight squash, lows boost, the shadow save, fade, fade highlights, fade shadows, grain, grain plus, grain plus plus, grain plus plus, grain bigger plus. <laughs> There's so many different choices here. Um, I nowadays I'm not using this as much. Although when we first got the preset, it was really fun to just kind of mess with and just see what happens, um, and then kind of go from there. One more section that they have is the uh, the toolkit color. This is this is fun. Um, we've definitely used this before. This orange skin fix is is helpful. If uh, if you're in a warm room uh, and people's skin starts to look a little bit orange, it's really really nice. It, it, I, I'm pretty sure it uses HSL over here to uh, to make that change. But um, it's really 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 helpful. Yeah, so it pulled down some of the saturation and the reds and the oranges. But that kind of thing. Um, you know, it's just so handy sometimes. It's just a one-click solution to orange skin, which is really cool, really helpful if that's, that's if that's the problem you're having. Also, creamy highlights are cool. I really like those. Um, they just add a nice tint to the highlights. I really enjoyed that, and we you know we kind of edited that way for a little while. So that was really fun. Um, and that is about it. That's kind of just the general overview. I'm going to click on a few more of these just so you can kind of see how it changes the image. 
but as a general rule, Viesco is sweet, and I highly recommend it. Um, I will leave the link to Viesco in the description. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that other people can find it. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll talk to you later.